This is video number two in our uh, series um, concerning four-way analysis. Um, a reminder that all the videos that are um, relevant to this series, the playlist for them will be featured on the website at digital-university.org. Okay, in this video, we want to consider if we have y equals e to the x, and we want to know how can we expand that in a four-way series. And we're particularly interested in the range where x goes from minus pi to pi. And it is, the function is periodic. So let's just think what, first of all, the graph would look like. We would have like this. And for e to the x, it's something like that. At x equals 0, that equals 1, of course. We can imagine going over 1, 2, 3 units, and on this side, 2. So from minus pi to pi, that would look something like this. But also, we're saying that our function is periodic. So roughly, it would look like this. And we want to know how can we expand this in a four-way series. And what we're going to do is just use our simple trig forms like we um, had presented in the first video. like this, nothing different. Uh, for our problem, for this particular problem now, the period we were interested going from minus pi to plus pi on the x-axis. So the period is 2 pi. That means L this part of the formula is pi. Now, here in our cosine and sine angles, we have n pi over l times x. For this problem, l equals pi. So our expressions are just simply going to be the cosine of nx and the sine of nx. And here, then, are the coefficients b sub n, a sub n. We, of course, developed these in the first uh, video. And a sub 0, when n is 0. And we can think of this as sort of the average of the function. So why don't we, first of all, since this is the simplest one, let's determine a sub 0. Then we'll determine a sub n. Then we'll determine b sub n. And then we'll try to combine it all together into our formula. So again, for this problem, um, we're going to be going from minus pi to pi. It's going to be 1 over pi. And we'll just have the sine of nx. Same thing here, except it's the cosine of nx. And again, 1 over pi from minus pi to pi e to the x dx. So let's do that first. So a sub 0, or a naught, equals 1 over pi the integral from minus pi to pi of e to the x dx. So this will equal just simply 1 over pi times e to the x. x goes from minus pi to pi. So this will equal 1 over pi and we'll have e to the pi minus 
e to the minus pi. So that is a naught. Now, hopefully you remember from calculus that the hyperbolic sine of pi, that's equal to e to the pi minus e to the minus pi divided by 2. So this expression here is just simply 2 times the hyperbolic sine of pi. So a naught is going to equal 2 over pi times the hyperbolic sine of pi. So there, we have our expression for a naught. Now let's go ahead and see if we can get an expression for a sub n. So a sub n, that equals 1 over pi, the integral from minus pi to plus pi of f of x, that's e to the x, times the cosine of nx. Okay, and here, um, as is so common when we're dealing with four-ray analysis type problems, we're having an integral where we're multiplying two functions together. And here, then, the way to handle that is to integrate by parts. And we discussed that a little bit, too, in, our, in the first video, where the integral of uv or u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Now, when you have an exponential with a trig function, go ahead most of the time then, this is what you choose for the u part. So we say let u equal e to the x, du equals e to the x dx, and dv, that is equal to cosine nx dx. So when we integrate this to get v, v will equal, the integral of the cosine is positive, so it's 1 over n times the sine of n times x. So that's v. So we want this integral. We have 1 over pi. going from minus pi to plus pi e to the x times the cosine of nx dx will equal, now all of this is what the integral is equal to. We're multiplying the integral by 1 over pi, so we multiply this side by 1 over pi, and it is u times v, that's this times this. So we have 1 over n e to the x times the sine of nx, and x goes from minus pi to plus pi. So we have it like this, and we'll try to keep things in better focus as we work along here. 
Now we have minus the integral of v du minus the integral of v du. This is, well, this on the outside of that integral. 1 over n, the integral from minus pi to plus pi, and we have e to the x times the sine of nx dx. Now if we put substitute in here, x is equal to pi, the sine of any multiple of pi is zero, likewise here, so this term is zero. And here, seems like we're no further along than when we started. We have an exponential times a trig function. And this type of integral is one of these cases where we have to go two times around before we finally get our result. What we have right now is that this integral here is equal to minus 1 over n times pi times this integral. So what we have to do is, and hopefully it's apparent, that if we go ahead and apply our formula to this again, when we go through that process, we're going to call this the dv, so that when we integrate, we're going to have a cosine of x, which will look like this, and then, we, then we'll start to make some progress. And if that isn't clear, um, let's just go forward for a couple of steps, and hopefully it will become um, more clarified. So let's see what we have. Right now we have that this, 1 over pi, well, we can just write it right here, Mine 1 over pi, this integral, minus pi to pi, e to the x, cosine nx, dx, is equal to this integral right here. Let us solve this integral. So, for this one, let's just choose a different colored pen. Now, once again, we say let u be equal to e to the x. So, let u equal e to the x. du will equal e to the x dx. And then for this part, that's the dv part. So let dv be equal to the sine of nx dx. So v will equal, the integral of the sine is minus the cosine. So v will equal minus 1 over n times the cosine of nx. And this is very significant, obviously. If it, if it isn't obvious, let's wait till we put it all together. So we have then that this integral This integral minus 1 over n pi. And now this one, this is what we started off with. After we went through our integration by parts process, we found that, that this is equal to this. And now we're dealing with this integral here. So minus n over pi, this integral. Okay, now this integral is equal to the u times v minus the integral of v du, but it's more, it, this, this multiplied by minus 1 over n pi, so this will be equal to 
minus 1 over n pi. And now we have uv minus the integral of v du. So here we're going to have u times v. So that's minus 1 over n e to the x times the cosine of nx. Then we have minus the integral of v du. This part. So go back to here. v du, this minus now becomes a plus. 1 over n and we have the integral from minus pi to pi e to the x times the cosine of nx dx and this is this is n over pi Try to make this neater. And again, this might be a little bit tedious, but we're trying to go through the whole process here step by step so that you have an idea of sort of the mechanics of what you have to go through uh, to solve one of these problems. Okay. Now, this is evaluated from x goes from minus pi to plus pi. So, here, what do we have? We have now, first of all, this expression minus 1 over n pi times this integral. That's what this is. So we can put this in place of this right here, and we'll have this expression. So let's just do this. one over pi, the integral from minus pi to pi, e to the x, cosine nx dx equals this. Now notice that we have this on both sides of the equation. We'll deal with that in just a second. And I said that we were going to go through this step by step. And it looks like we're running out of time here. Um, let's stop right here. And when we come to part two of the video, we'll go ahead and solve this. We'll get an expression for this. And that will determine what a sub n is. So come back. Join us in the next video. And we'll pick up at this point here. We'll probably erase all this so we have more room to work with. But we'll pick up at this point right here, and we'll continue along. Come back and join us for the next video, and let's see how much more progress we can make.